Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your baby girl, Patty G's Cakes, always coming back with interesting content. If you're here for your first time, hello and welcome. You're going to love it right here. To all my returning subscribers, thanks so much for always coming back. In today's episode, I'm going to be showing you how to make a pumpkin cake. Stay to the end while I'll be showing you an interesting ingredient to make your cake taste good. See ya! Welcome again. These are the ingredients I am going to be using for the pumpkin cake. November is a Thanksgiving month and a pumpkin cake is usually a cake that is being eaten during the Thanksgiving celebration. So get ready to add this pumpkin cake to your upcoming Thanksgiving celebration. Let's put all the dry ingredients together. Two and a half cups of flour, one teaspoon ground cinnamon, two teaspoons baking powder. How is your day going so far? I hope it's a beautiful day. I hope it's a blessed day. Breathe, relax, and enjoy the moment. One teaspoon ground nutmeg. That's the brand I'm using. One teaspoon baking soda. That is the brand I am using. One teaspoon ginger, ground ginger. When you're done baking this cake, if you're looking to try something different, you can also try the dulce de leche cake. Please check the link above to watch. Now these are all our dry ingredients. I am going to be using a whisk to mix them together to make sure everything incorporates. Once I am done mixing, I set that aside. Next, I mix all the wet ingredients together. I am so sorry I missed recording that part. So these are all the wet ingredients. So what I did is I poured the dry ingredients over the wet ingredients. As you can see, I was just pouring in the last um, batch of the dry ingredients into the batter and I mixed all this together. Again, it's so easy. I am so sorry I missed recording that part. I was so shocked when I saw that while editing. So again, these are the list of the wet ingredients. I just mix them together and mm -hmm. I mix the wet ingredients and the dry ingredients using a whisk and that is the result. Again, I am so sorry for missing that part, but it's quite straightforward as I listed them. And I'm also going to be adding that in the description box. So check the description box to see a detailed description of how this was done. Thank you so much for understanding things like this happen again do not forget the description box contains everything that i did that i missed recording so now that my batter looks good i will be using a nine inch burnt pan to bake this cake so i'm pouring in my batter into the cake pan i poured everything in the cake pan it was just the right size for my batch hey if you haven't subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for please please join this family let's learn together let's grow together please hit the subscribe button turn on your notification bell such that when next i upload a video you will be the first to watch to all those that have been coming back every single friday to encourage me i am truly grateful I am going to tap the cake pan to make sure any air bubbles go away. I set my oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and once that is ready, I am going to be putting in the cake into the oven. I will be baking this cake for about an hour or 
when a toothpick inserted it comes out dry so that is my oven all set and that is my cake inside so we are good to go to the next one hour or so that is how the cake looks like after baking for about 40 minutes now the cake is ready I will be use, using a cooling rack to cool off my cake yep that is how it looks like so good so moist look at that don't you like what you see so let's cut into this cake together it's still so very hot I love hot cakes with hot chocolate the combination you can't go wrong there you go look at that I hope you're ready to enjoy this cake over the next Thanksgiving Happy Thanksgiving to all those in America. The Thanksgiving weekend will be in two weeks, I think. So make sure you follow this recipe. Have something quite interesting for your event. See how it looks? Spongy, soft, moist, and you can name it. That is the final product. I totally loved digging into this cake. If you've watched till this point, thanks so much. Let's eat this pumpkin cake together. Oh, so yum. The one ingredient that I added that is not very commonly used in a pumpkin cake is a butterscotch pudding. This made the cake taste extremely buttery and yummy remember life can get bitter eat cake to make it sweet until next time bye